Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle and I am here with my realtor, Mackenzie. I'm so excited that she's here. She's actually helped me found, find my last two apartments. Yes. Which is so crazy. So why don't you give everyone a little bit, a little elevator pitch about you. Sure. <laughs> um, hey guys, I am Mackenzie Kyle. I work with Platinum Properties here in New York City. We are a luxury uh, boutique real estate firm, but we work with every single type of person. And yeah, I've been in the industry for two years, helped Danielle find her last two places, and we're doing a fun little vlog this year. Usually around this time of year, I'm texting Mackenzie like, all right, it's time to find a new apartment, and it's like a boost of serotonin, because I really do enjoy it, and I know you do too, mm -hmm. so it's so fun, and she's so personable, so easy to talk to, gets what I want. A lot of my friends have worked with her as well. A lot of you guys apparently have worked with you, you as well, yes. right? This year, I decided I'm not moving because it's just, I, I have a great apartment, you know? We're not gonna leave. And I was like, I'm still missing something. Like I'm wanting to still go tour apartments mm -hmm. and you were like, well, I mean, we can. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so we're gonna go tour some apartments. But before that, I get a lot of questions and I'm not a pro about moving to New York City. Like I think a lot of people find my videos because they're moving to New York. They found my apartment tours that I did with Mackenzie the last couple years. Um, she does a great job of setting them all up. She's like, okay, here's our schedule. She Ubers us from place to place. Like it's amazing. It's just seamless. Um, but I was like, we need to have the pro come sit down in my apartment and kind of just answer some frequently asked questions just kind of give a spiel what working with a realtor is like how to find one just everything are you ready yeah let's do it okay amazing <laughs> so do you want to start off with just like getting a realtor all that is that yes. a good starting place yes okay so um how to get a realtor if you are interested in working with an agent um you know just reach out go if you want to work with someone from platinum properties go to the platinum properties website i'll have a link down below um, by the way there's a ton of agents you can work with you're more than welcome to contact me or anybody else at my brokerage um and we will get back to you right away essentially just reach out let us know what you're looking for in an apartment when you want to move what you're looking for what your budget is what your must-haves are and we'll be more than happy to hop on a call with you give you a quick free consultation um, and just let you know, get you prepared to rent in New York City. So kind of explain to everybody why it's useful to have one. Sure, so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you can't find an apartment on your own. Yeah. You know, it's definitely possible. Um, do I think it's useful to work with an agent? 100%. I think, especially if you're moving from out of town, mm. um, it can be extremely difficult to lock something down, whether you're you know, not able to make it into the city at all for tours, or even if you come into town for a few days, you really need a point person here to make sure that the apartment is what they say it is, that someone's representing your best interests and all of that. Um, you know, in terms of more value that we add, obviously we have connections with agents all over the city. Agents have access to every single apartment in the city, so mm -hmm. we're not limited at all. Um, just, to, you know, even if it's someone else's listing, we're still more than uh, able to bring people to different apartments and do the tours with them yeah. and really be there to ask the important questions that you might not know to ask Definitely. um you know to help you with negotiating to help you with the application process as danielle knows <laughs> to get all the documents together to be ready to apply for an apartment um you know and really just to have that support throughout the process because it is extremely stressful so yeah support yeah is what it, like literally you're my therapist during that time. yeah it's managing emotions <laughs> no literally 100%. and like because my parents came with me to tour the first round of apartments so you were really helpful in answering their questions yeah. that i wouldn't think to ask and it's really key too because i just felt more legit it's like having a manager almost it's mm. like oh this girl's legit because she is a realtor i also and you can correct me if i'm wrong but i also feel like if a few people are applying but one of them has a realtor Sometimes yeah. maybe they'll be more inclined to talk to you. They'll like feel more comfortable with you rather than like some of the other applicants that might not. A hundred percent. Like not only will we get the inside scoop, yeah. but also when you're bringing another agent, the listing agent is going to realize, okay, they're going to have their stuff together. They know what they need to do. Yeah. They have someone organizing, you know, their paperwork, all of that. And that's extremely valuable to people because... You know, we're very busy, so if you have someone representing you who's gonna take care of all that, that takes a load off of the listing agent. Oh, and, you know, it's a lot easier for everybody. It's a much more seamless process that way. It's stunning. Like, I just, I I can't recommend enough. And actually, the way I found Mackenzie's one of my other friends that moved to mm -hmm. New York recommended me to her, and then it was just kind of a chain of events. It, it's nice to know that someone can vouch for him, so here's me vouching for Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. um, it's just so helpful, and I remember, especially the first round, you were like, okay, this is what you need to bring with you. This is what you need to have like in a folder on your desktop, on your computer, yeah. like all these different things because there's just a lot there. 
Yeah, it's, it's a tough process. I mean, renting in New York City is no easy task and the landlords ask for a lot. So yeah, having everything in a digital folder ready to go for when you're here touring apartments, just make sure you're not gonna miss out on an apartment you really love. So once, you know, I started working with you, whatever, you kind of gave me this list of things I needed to have prepped beforehand, just so people understand kind of where it all starts. Sure. Can you kind of list those off? Yeah, definitely. So when you're getting ready to start your apartment search, um, you know, there's going to be certain documents that the landlord is going to ask for to make sure that you qualify for the apartment, mm -hmm. that you're going to be a good tenant and that, you know, you're ready to rent an apartment here. So what you should have prepared um, for yourself is your ID, either your offer letter, letter of employment, or enrollment letter if you're a student, pay stubs if your job has started. Mm -hmm. I would get, you know, maybe two or three consecutive bank statements in a folder ready to go, um, and then tax returns. You know, those are the main things that the landlord would ask for. And I know a lot of people moving to the city may not qualify on their own yet. You know, yeah. they might have to use a guarantor and that's totally fine. So normal. The yeah. more I talk to people, yeah, it's, it's very so common. Normal. And they're gonna ask for the same documents. So that same list applies to the guarantor. And you know, for example, if you're like claimed on your guarantor's tax returns, if you're still young, that's totally fine to use their tax returns. You know, although they ask for specific things, there's a lot of loopholes. There's a lot yeah. of ways to make sure that everybody can qualify for an apartment and everyone can get an apartment. Yeah. And that's why I think it's important, even if you have all your documents together, to talk to an agent, make sure like, hey, when I submit, like, am I gonna qualify? Like, am I gonna be good? So. Yeah, I feel like you've been honest with yeah. me, like, ah, this might be a reach, or like, this is For sure. Range, I mean, know? setting expectations is honestly part of our job. Yeah. Because we don't want to waste anyone's time. So, you know, just as long as you have that together and, and you understand, you know, what you may need to do to get an apartment, you'll be totally fine. I remember you were like my cheerleader this last round because when I came yeah. to see this apartment, you were like, okay, because you weren't able to come that day and you are like, just make sure like you're talking to them because it was an open house because there was other people in here. Yeah. You were just giving me all these tips. So I came in hot mm -hmm. and I got the apartment. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. But you got like, it's literally, you're my coach almost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you have, you understand the assignment. Yes, yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. Um, actually going back to guarantor because that's something sure. I had never heard of before I moved to New York City. Can you just give like a little blip of what that's about if people are confused? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So like I said, not everybody, you know, is 100% ready to rent an apartment on their own which is fine. Um, in that case, you need somebody that you know personally um, that can basically co-sign the apartment for you. It's essentially like a co-signer, which I feel like is a yeah. more common term outside of New York. Yeah. In New York, we just call it a guarantor. It's just someone to be on your lease as well, um, just to show the landlord that no matter what, if something were to happen, you know, you can pay your rent and everything will be fine um, going forward. In college, you know, we would literally lock down our apartments a year in advance. Oh my God. Yeah, it'd be like, okay, where am I living next year? We lock it down. I don't know if that's a college town thing or just Athens, Georgia, I don't really know. But when I was looking to move here and I reached out to you, you were like, okay, you can come at like a month before and we'll tour. And I was like, oh my God. Even that's a little early. Even that's yeah. early. So can you explain the timeline and just like people don't need to stress if they don't have time, whatever. Sure. Yeah. That's actually a really good point. So I, first of all, I always encourage people to reach out maybe like 60 days, two months before your scheduled move in, before when you need to move in by. That allows you plenty of time to get all your stuff together and then to prepare to really hit the ground running yeah. a little bit closer to the move-in date. Um, in New York City, you can lock down an apartment within 24 hours if you really want to. Of course, you know, I recommend probably about four weeks, maybe three weeks out to really, you know, put 100% effort into the search, tour as much as possible. Um, that's actually available at your time because you don't want to look too right. far in advance because it's like, oh, this you're not available then, right? Exactly, 100%. And if you're looking at the move-in date, you know, anything in New York City that says available now, they really need available now. <laughs> they want immediate move-in. So you right. really need to be specific about what the landlord is going to allow mm. for your move-in date. But in terms of getting started, like really getting started three to four weeks out, you know, you can hit the ground running depending on the building. There are some buildings that provide like availability, like 90 days in advance, yeah. but it just depends on what your search right. is. Yeah. And if you, you know, like I said, if you speak with an agent and do the consultation, they'll be able to tell you what an appropriate timeline based on your search would be. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's really good. So kind of on that note, if someone's looking to move to New York City, they want to plan it. Can you kind of give a rundown because I remember it was just so fun. I came for a weekend with my family yeah. and you basically just set it all up. Like, mm -hmm. but you only find out, like I think you would give me the schedule like the day before because yes. it's very current, like yes. you said. Things run very quickly. So if you send me something a week in advance, mm -hmm. it's very likely it's gonna be gone by the time you're like in town if it's right. a good apartment. So 
I personally love when clients like fly into town for a couple of days or drive into town for a couple of days. It's yeah. my favorite because we just tour, tour, tour. You know, as yeah. Danielle remembers, it was like a six hour tour. I loved it. <laughs> um, you know, on the day that she was here. So that's what I do. And we basically will just see everything because you really can't make an informed decision, especially in a day or two without yeah. seeing as much as possible. So when people come into town, we just fill up the day full of tours. And to Danielle's point, you're probably gonna get the itinerary right before because like I said, things rent so quickly that really we're checking to see if things are available up until the morning of the tour even sometimes because that's how quickly things can rent. And it is really nice too, because I remember one or two of the buildings, or many buildings, because I've toured a lot of apartments with you now, mm -hmm. like sometimes there's no one there to kind of show us around. So maybe you've been to the building already, so and you know the doorman and you're getting, or if there's a doorman there, or you know like the super or whatever. So it's like, you're getting the keys, you're letting us in. It feels more comforting rather than like, walking in and you're just like i don't know where to go you're like oh the amenities in this building are actually really good mm -hmm. stuff like that um i think that's really helpful too yeah i mean 100 percent. i feel like you know like i said agents are very busy so sometimes they'll just like leave the keys with the doorman and yeah you're just kind of there to explore on your own and you know sometimes that's really great but like yeah. you said when you're with somebody who actually knows oh where so things nice. are and you're not like getting lost in the hallways of the building yeah um you know that can be super helpful. Yeah, because a lot of times I feel like you had already been to the building to show someone else. Like you were just familiar with it. So coming, like you said earlier, coming from out of town, especially, which I feel like a lot of people do when they're moving to New York City, it's just so nice to just have a guide. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you need a point person. Like yeah. it's like boots on the ground. You know yeah, what I literally. mean? Like you, you need someone here uh, just to, to kind of know what the situation is. And I will say as well, if you can't come into town, that's totally fine. Um, agents are really great like i said about being your point person and also like i love when someone sends their friend to a tour with me you know what i mean oh like, yeah so what do you do if someone can't come into town you'll like yeah send a friend basically or, would yeah. you ever go on facetime 100 oh, yeah okay. so i'll go and do facetime tours or video tours you know get thorough videos of the building outside the building all of that but then i also encourage people if you have friends in the city if you have family in the city send them yeah. why not you know what they mean? know you they know your exactly. style your vibe i think i actually did a facetime tour with you for one of them Maybe last yes. year when I was in the Hamptons yes. or something. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. she does it all. <laughs> yeah, literally. Wow, that's amazing. And should people be intimidated to move to New York? <laughs> no, no. It's it's an amazing place to live. It's a very lively city. You're never gonna be bored. You know, I I've lived here for four years now, and I grew up right outside of the city, coming into the city consistently. It's amazing. Don't be intimidated. Like I said at the beginning, like everybody can get an apartment yeah. some way somehow <laughs> even if you don't qualify on your own even if you don't have a guarantor there's still a way to get an apartment i just say like reach out most agents are more than happy to give you like a free phone call a free consultation and just be really honest with you because like i said setting expectations is number one we don't want to waste people's time we don't want to get people's hopes up yeah, so just talk to someone talk to someone get a free consultation um and then you can know you know what your journey is really going to look like yeah yeah no, it's true i remember i gave when i first was moving here i gave mackenzie like all these things so she's like okay so yeah. you're not gonna find something with all those things in new york city so let's just bring our expectations down but you said it in the best way and i was like okay like i'm ready yeah <laughs> like it's a joke because there's always something with, oh, like a new york yeah. city apartment there's always something missing you it's know like pick two out of three exactly 100 <laughs> percent well, thank you so much, Mackenzie. I feel like this is just the perfect little intro to our video. She is showing me a ton of the Platinum Properties um, listings that they have available. Yes. So we're showing all kinds. I mean, we're seeing penthouses and we're seeing, you know, maybe one beds and studios. We haven't even done all of these yet. So yeah. I don't know what you're going to see in the video, but I'm so excited. Yes, you'll see. <laughs> um, so where can they find you, contact you, and also have it all down below as well? Sure. Yes. So... If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Kenzie Sells NYC RE. I also would give Platinum Properties NYC a follow. Um, and then, you know, check out the Platinum Properties website. We have, like I said, a ton of agents, a ton of listings, a ton of information about everything that you would ever need to get started. So just reach out. Amazing. Thank you so much. All right, let's go tour some apartments. Okay, we are entering 75 wall. This is a one bed, one home office. Guys, this kitchen is everything to me. I'm obsessed. As soon as we walked in, I was like, the fridge. Like it's so, I love these finishes 
And then there's so much storage here. So for example, something like this in FIDI would go for about 5,800, Mackenzie said, and it's ginormous. So you walk in right here, the bathroom's here. There's a washer and dryer in unit. If you know, you know, in New York City, you do not find that everywhere. So when you find it, it's like holy grail, which is so funny because I feel like in other cities, that's not, you know, that's just a given, but not here. Um, they're, I think they're like replacing this or something, but this is the sink. This is the little guest bathroom, by the way. Um, and then we've got this shower. Love that shower head. Love the glass shower door. That's like a dream of mine to have one day. I think that's very lovely. This is a little home office area, which is quite big. And then there's another closet, which is always very exciting. You could put your winter clothes in here for me i would just want to make this like my filming area glam room but you could make this your home office especially if you're moving with like a partner so you have a little bit of separate space and then there's a closet right here which is huge i mean that's i just can't get over all the storage in this and then you guys look at this wow i mean i just want to sit on this and stoop and sit and like you get a beautiful view of the water. Um, we're on the 37th floor right now. So it's pretty, it's beautiful. I love it. This is a huge, huge living room. You could even like, I don't know, you could put stools here if you want. There's so much to do. And then this is the bedroom. The lighting in here is absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, FIDI has just so many amazing buildings. Like I've almost moved here twice. Who knows, it'll probably still happen because I just keep coming back down here. I love it so much. I just love these big windows. When you see big windows, it's like amazing. Also, Mackenzie, is this central air I'm seeing? Yes. That's always exciting when you find that in New York City as well. Here's another closet. Love, I just, I love the shape of this room too. And then you have another bathroom here, double sinks, they're working on it right now. This reminds me of my first shower in my first apartment, and I loved that shower so much. I love this tile, that shower head. Oh, wait, oh my God, there's two showers. <laughs> there's a bathtub. Oh, this is elite right here. 5,800 for all this in New York, wow. Um, love this, another glass shower. Wait, so there's, you could have guests here. There's technically three shower heads, Mackenzie. This is crazy. So yeah, this is 75 wall, one bed, one home office. I'm obsessed, truly. This is so nice. All right, guys, we are in a duplex penthouse now. I literally feel like I'm in Gossip Girl. So this is when you enter apartment of my dreams. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is unreal. This is also at 75 wall. Fun fact, I used to have that lamp in my college apartment. <laughs> That's funny. Um, literally love the way they staged this apartment so you could just see how you could live here. Beautiful, 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 guys, this kitchen. Wow, so they've like more so renovated this because, um, I mean, look at this. There's lots of champagne in there, you guys. Look at this fridge. I've got the oven, all the things, everything you could probably ever imagine for a kitchen. I feel like they have in here. Love the countertops. Oh, and the microwave's nice and hidden down there. Sink, wow. I love a white kitchen. It's always nice and crisp. And then, so this is where the first bedroom is. This literally, Mackenzie was saying, this feels like a home. Because we're so high up, we're on the penthouse level. Like we're in New York City, but you really can't hear anything, which is one of the pros. I used to think I didn't want to live on a high floor. But it is nice because you don't get any road noise. So something to keep in mind when you guys are touring apartments. You know, we're all touring penthouses, right? <laughs> um, there's a bathroom for this one. Then we go over here. And uh, they made this one an office, but this is another bedroom as well. Very cool. Like these windows are just ginormous. Can't get over this view. I love the artwork that they used here. I mean, this is like big man business right there. Big woman business. I love all the mirrors they have with the clocks. Medicine cabinets, of course. And then we go upstairs and Mackenzie was saying, whenever there's stairs in an apartment, it just makes it feel more like a home. And I was like, you're so right. Um, I actually, some of my friends have apartments here in the city that their bedroom's on the second floor. <laughs> Gives you a nice little workout. 
when you first come up here, there's like this landing area, a little, I think this is like espresso or something. Yeah, an espresso. So sick. Great entertaining area. This is what reminds me of Gossip Girl for some reason. The second floor, you can look down. Then there's an outdoor area, private outdoor area. Imagine just reading your book out here. Like, this is sick. Then you could see inside. I, I can't get over this, you guys. I can't believe I'm here right now. Got another bedroom here. I'm thinking this is the primary bedroom. Nice and big. Fireplace right there. Feels really nice in here. I love this bathroom. This is definitely my favorite bathroom. Love an all white bathroom. Love this double sink moment once again. The shower, a glass shower door. You have a nice bathtub. And of course, a nice big closet. This is amazing. And then there's one more bedroom, I think, over here. And the thing with these duplex penthouses, uh, Mackenzie was telling me, there's like multiple entrances. So this is like another floor you can enter the um, apartment. So here's another bedroom. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Okay guys, we're in Tribeca now. This elevator literally just brought us out into the apartment. I am not okay. It's a multi-level um, unit with a pool on top that's private to this unit. So we will check that out together. But here's the bathroom, or not the bathroom. This is one of many. I love this little sink though. It's like right when you walk in, I can't get over that elevator that brings you out into it. We're in the heart of Tribeca right now. This outdoor area. This kitchen. Wow. I know, it like looks like a hotel, like little landing area. Oh my God. This is ginormous, you guys. I love the dark wood. Wow, wow, wow. Bath There's a urinal. There's literally a urinal. <laughs> oh my god. The bathtub. Oh my god, and the shower. Love the lighting in these mirrors, of course. The closet is honestly my dream closet. Hello. This is a true walk-in closet right here. I mean, come on. This is, what's over here? There's more. You can catch the elevator up to this floor. Oh, if you, want to. you can catch the elevator. That's crazy. There's a little wet bar. I love this bedroom. The closet is like a real closet. <laughs> oh my God. Another bedroom here. It literally looks like a hotel bedroom. Another shower and bathroom here. This is ginormous. This is beautiful. Another little balcony just to perch on. I love Tribeca. Tribeca is so beautiful. Wow. Just imagine you're in your private pool in Tribeca, looking out. There's a jacuzzi here with a TV. Infinity pool in the middle of New York. Oh, that's where we're watching the football game. Oh my God. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my entire life. This is beautiful. Yeah, it's travertine. The yeah, travertine it's stairs are, I've never really seen much like it, in homes at least. These are Andy Warhol right here. That's stunning. Love the colors. The staircases for days. I can't believe we're in New York City right now. <laughs> yeah, this is very, very, very cool. Another artwork here, another TV. Wow. <laughs> I love, yeah, these are like those cool doors where on like a nice day you could just keep it open. You hang out here. I can't get over like the parties that are probably had out here. I just can't get over this. And then it walk, you can go all the way down here. 
I mean, if this is an inspiration, you guys, I don't know what is. To just get your butt up <laughs> and motivate yourself. This is, I mean, I, I can't even imagine living in something like this, but it's so cool. We have the top 10 floors, so it should be a pretty amazing tour. Um, we have great two beds, three beds, options for roomies, so I'm super excited. Woo! Hello! Welcome to 30B at Forte Select by Mercedes House. This is one of our most luxurious lines in the building. We have the top 11 floors here. You're going to take a beautiful look around with our floor-to-ceiling windows in the bedroom, the living room, and all around. You have beautiful west exposure. You're going to take a look and see. You guys, this is not real. Imagine you're cooking in the kitchen. This is on the west side, so you get to see the sunset, and you're drinking a glass of wine, and you're just, I, I need to live here. Like You have to. I know. I top-of-the-line appliances, Viking appliances, Sub-Zero appliances, everything you need. Soft-closed cabinets, a Bosch dishwasher, automatic garbage disposal, so... Honestly, garbage disposal, you don't see that everywhere in New York City. In New York. No. York. No, this is amazing. Now, let's see. Amazing, there's a freezer. We've got a huge fridge for New York. <laughs> everything I'm like, for New York, this is so nice. Yeah. And you know what people kill for? Hmm. What's this? Indian washer and dryer. Oh! People kill for this. They do. They Number fight for one this. Must <laughs> Number one must have. Literally. This is so gorgeous. So this is a two bed, two bath, correct? Mm -hmm. So this. Just about a thousand square feet. Wow. And beautiful southwest exposure in your living area. Beautiful downtown Chelsea. Oh my God! When the lights are on. Yeah. Look, look at this view. Views. Guys, like I can't even imagine this at night. And there's amenities here as well, right? Over 80,000 square feet of amenities. <laughs> She's like, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Indoor pool, outdoor pool, you can still this infusion. Wow. We have it all. Wait, did you say sauna? You can still live this infusion. Eucalyptus infused sauna? Oh my gosh. Like the gyms, yeah. Wow, this bedroom is stunning. So you and a roomie. Or you could come and just get do an office and then your own bedroom here. This bathroom is stunning. I absolutely love it. This gorgeous bathtub. I am like having a moment with these glass showers. I just adore it. Love the blue tile. Like she said, it's southwest facing. So the lighting is just seriously unreal. The closet. Got a nice walk-in closet moment here very spacious i know a lot of people like to live over here because it's close to their offices just depends on where you're working but i just love how you can see the cruise ships too it's such a unique like there's just so much to see and i love the column i just love when a unit like my unit had a column and i was like okay it's mine yeah it just i don't know because this is a corner unit mm -hmm. wow the yeah, I can't get over this kitchen. Like it's so yes. beautiful. Like having an open kitchen. Yeah. Can hold stuff. Like actually. Yes. Bar, bar stools, stools here. Bar stools. The whole nine so yards. Great. Wow. Well, yeah. thank you. Hello and welcome to 25P in the same building that we are in. We have a total of three bed, two bath, 1,300 square feet. Floor to ceiling windows all around. Everything you need is in this building, in this unit. Super spacious, I love it. I wish I could move in here. <laughs> Anyone wants to be my roommate? Well, let me pay just two grand a month. <laughs> So this is stunning. Similar kitchen as before. Amazing lighting. Once again, hi Mackenzie. Um, can we talk about this terrace? It's stunning. Beautiful downtown view. It's insane. Cruise ships just yet again. Like the sunsets here are absolutely like to die for. It's like the ones you see on Pinterest. You don't even. Yes. See them. Like, yeah, they're literally. That's what this ones. is. 
I love that there's like a little greenery moment, the umbrella, chairs. You could put chairs here. You could put a little mini pool, a barbecue maybe. I don't really know. Have a dog too. Oh, a dog. Yeah, like, they'll be living their best life here. This is so, like I've never seen anything, like this is just big and, and nice. Yeah, terraces in this building don't really come often. So, oh, really? Yeah. And, oh, I have to show you guys. Yeah, the bedrooms. So let's go. We've got a fun hallway here. Here's one bedroom, love a column, very vibey. And then we've got closet here. And then we've got a bathroom here for these two bedrooms, very nice. Here's the other bedroom. And then you have another closet. And then this is the primary bedroom. Again, quite spacious. Love this bathroom. I love a double sink moment. It's very nice if you're living with your partner because you just need two sinks, okay? Another bathtub, the shower. I'm assuming this is a closet. I wonder if this is another one. Oh, fabulous. Lots of different places to put your clothing. So, love this. Fabulous lighting. Good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> Guys, there is literally a basketball court in here, and Marlene is gonna do a little shot. Yeah. All right, what you got? <laughs> oh, a three pointer. Oh my god, I really thought that was gonna go in. <laughs> Honestly, pretty impressive though. You're hitting the net at least. Hey! Yeah. Amazing. All right, Mackenzie. What do we got? Oh my gosh, girls! I keep thinking it's gonna get in. Amazing. This place is unreal. Guys, they literally have so many amenities, and you're saying they have workout classes as well included in the amenities fee? There's also a pliables here, and a pool. I'll show you guys, let's go. Tissue massage all the way down to a 10 20 dollar scalp massage. Wow, in your own building, in your own you, building. Don't go you don't have to go anywhere, you just come here. So, you can literally make an appointment and be like, I need a massage right now, and they have a literal spa. This place is a hotel, I need to move in, guys. This pool area is huge. You can come out here and tan, or you can be near the pool. Amazing sunlight, you're not getting blocked. Could have used this this summer. This is gorgeous. Wow. This is so nice. Yeah, shade. You can do a whole barbecue moment. Is that um bocce ball? Oh my gosh. Cornel. This has got to be a fun place on the weekends. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Gucci. I love that for them. Oh, yeah. We have movie nights out here. People sit out here and then they pull down the projector. Wow. Wow. Everything. Literally everything. So we are at 152 Thompson? Yes. Here we go. We are now in Soho. Welcome to 152 Thompson, apartment 1B. Yeah. This is our two bed, one bath, washer dryer. Wow. We got renovated in the heart of Soho. Yeah, guys, this location is seriously unreal. Look how relaxing this is with the greenery. This is gorgeous. Also, this kitchen, you could just tell it's all renovated. How I love the finishes here. Really nice. You've got 
a fridge, a microwave, an oven. We've got a little closet right here, which is nice. Lighting in is here incredible. Um, let's just talk about a washer dryer though. Can we believe this? The Platinum Properties gets it. They're like, we're only showing you a washer dryer. I'm kidding. The girls, get it, get it. the girls who get it, get it. This is another storage area. Bathroom, super nice. I've never seen a shower head like this. And I'm obsessed. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Also, again, the glass shower. Very, very nice. So like she said, two bed. So you and a roomie. This is so, like, it's, this is such a perfect location. You get to the West Village so easily. Blue Haven is literally right there. Carbone is right over there. Pop-up bagels is right over there. This is so nice. Here's the other bedroom. I, I really like, I sound like my mom right now, but I really just like the vibes in here. So this is really nice. Thanks for showing us this, Mackenzie. What's the, oh, wash dryer. Pretty good size. Have a little cooking moment. I like how there's a little counter. You could even like work here if you mm -hmm. wanted. Put a little bar stool. Very, very nice. And like you said, heart of Soho, baby. Love. Now we're at 142 Sullivan. Here we go. So here we are. This is a one bedroom. This is so perfect if you're living alone. It's so cozy in here. So you've got a little living space here. And then this kitchen looks pretty nice. I like this a lot. Oh my gosh, full-size dishwasher. My goodness. I know, that's a big one. Fridge, freezer, oven, microwave. You have pretty much everything you need. A stove, which is really nice. Got the bathroom right here. Oh my gosh, another glass shower door. I want one. <laughs> this is so lovely. Again, so perfect. Um, Mackenzie was saying this is very charming and that's exactly what I would put it as you're on Sullivan So you're in Soho technically, but like you're so close to West Village, which I really really like again This is such a nice location really nice view like you could just perch up right here and romanticize your life if you want <laughs> Got a nice closet fit a good sized bed in here I'm very impressed little fire escape moment The see oh I I didn't see the ceiling. I'm glad you pointed that out. I could just see someone really just transforming this space yeah. and making this so beautiful. Wow. It's very, it's actually quite, it's really quiet. Mm -hmm. It's only on the second floor, but it feels really relaxing and I really like it. Okay, so we're in the same building, two bed, two bath. We're just one floor up got a living space right here this is 5900 here's the kitchen again you have all the things uh, actually I'm not seeing a microwave but this most you could of the most of the things you could put like a microwave here the tenant left this this is pretty cool if you wanted to have that love this long hallway I'm kind of vibing with it you could definitely utilize storage in the hallway if you needed to um, washer dryer another jackpot Amazing. This bathroom is real nice. Love the glass door again with the bathroom. So this is one bathroom and then this bedroom actually has a bathroom in it. It's definitely a little on the darker side in here. Um, but you have a closet and then you have your own bathroom, which is really nice. Um, I really, really like the shower. I like this. It's a good location once again we're on sullivan street quaint lovely close to everything so yeah this is 142 sullivan right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.